Gaurav Savant, our senior executive editor, man on the ground, fronting our coverage, India's most watched reporter in Ukraine right now. Gaurav, fresh images coming in of the air defense response from Ukraine. We've seen this become one of the most defining themes over the last 72 hours, you and I, Gaurav, of aircraft from the Russian side being shot down by Ukrainian, you know, shoulder-fired missiles or surface-to-air missiles of some kind. The latest image, I'm sure you've seen it, Gaurav, is of what appears to be an attack helicopter, the mangled remains on it, of it on the ground, and, uh, you know, I think a Ukrainian soldier or uh, some kind of military personnel taking a video of it with his mobile phone. What are you hearing? Do we know okay. where this was? So many such videos coming in from the Ukraine. Shiv, you're right. Um, in fact, in the past 12 hours, so uh, midnight uh, yesterday, the, uh, the midnight last night, the update was 94 uh, Russian aircraft and helicopters had been shot down in 11 days of war. We are now being told another two have been taken down. Uh, one was a fighter jet uh, somewhere near uh, Sumi, uh, uh, somewhere near uh, Kherson uh, area, somewhere in the south, and the other not far from Irpin uh, or Chernihiv is what we are being told. Uh, some of these videos uh, still require verification and more commentary uh, from the government here. But social media uh, platforms and, of course, uh, local journalists seem to indicate that a very fierce attack uh, that was taking place was beaten back because the surface-to-air missiles and not just man pads, but air defense systems remain operational around Kiev. The big fight in Chernihiv, the big fight in Irpin and Bucha are to take down these air defense systems and the main resistance that's being mounted by the Ukrainian army. This is where we are told that an attack helicopter uh, was taken down. We are still waiting for confirmation. We are still waiting for more details. But uh, in 12 days, Shiv, the Ukrainian uh, uh, armed forces have been able to uh, not just withstand the attack, but also be in a position to, in a way, strike back uh, at, at the Russian forces. The mm. Russian forces haven't been able to uh, take control, except for Kherson and a couple of of other places take control of major cities here because there are pitched battles to fight back which means the training and tactics and shift you you understand military operations better than most even if you lose a city uh, you know the forces are in a position to immediately launch a counter attack to retake the city and yeah. that seems to be happening at multiple locations even as the fierce fighting uh, was being reported till at least some time back in Irpin and Bucha now it remains to be seen whether uh, that ceasefire comes into effect the, that's been announced by Russia including here in Kiev and whether it would include uh, these places of Bucha, uh, Ostomol and Irpin Shiv. Okay Gaurav continue to stay with me. One of the most defining images of the last 24 hours has also been uh, you know, a very, very aggressive attack, uh, not in the eastern part of the country where most of the attacks are happening or in the north, but in the southwestern part. Russia has just launched in the last 24 hours a back-to-back -back eight cruise missile attack on the city of Vinitsia of Ukraine. It's just southwest of Kyiv. This happened on Sunday completely. We'll put those pictures on your screen in a moment. Completely destroying the Havrishovka airport in Venezia. It's a very important airbase. Let's put those pictures up. Let's put the pictures up of the Venezia attack, which has happened in just the last 24 hours. It's a very important airport that has been destroyed not very far from Kyiv, a couple of hundred kilometers away from Kyiv.